In this video I am going to show you the best crows in the game for farming and sowing and we are starting right now. First of all we are going to start with scrolls for sowing which are more and have different effects that you can use against different types of enemies. The first one on the list is the gazer scroll and it works like a nuke. It does a lot of damage on your enemies and it has a low cooldown which allows you to spam it as soon as it gets ready. This scroll is meant to be used by spell based classes as it does more damage when you have high spell power. Next up we've got the scroll of blessed shard. The way this one works is it increases all of the damage an enemy takes by 50%. This includes the damage that the boss takes from other players. The impact alone does not do a lot of damage and it only deals 50% of your spell power. Also keep in mind that this scroll only works on undead enemies. Following on the list we have got the scroll of furious gale. This is one of the best scrolls because it is basically a nuke that you have as a 6th skill. When you use it, you also have a chance to lower the attack speed of your enemy for a few seconds so it can be easier for you to kill your enemy. This one also scales from spell power which means that if you play something like lightcaster or shaman you increase the damage. Next we have a scroll that is very useful against bosses because what you can do is you can use it when your health is low so you can stun your enemy and then use any healing spells that you or your party have. It is the scroll of ethereal slumber. When you do this you can get out of a hard spot during the fight. Just keep in mind that when the enemy is stunned they take 90% reduced damage from anything so you might want to keep your damaging abilities for when they are no longer stunned. Now we've got an offensive scroll which is the Kenter's Lament. This scroll deals a big amount of damage and adds a follow up DLT that gets stronger over time. It also has a very short cooldown which allows you to spam it on cooldown if you have a good cooldown reduction. Another scroll that does a lot of damage and adds up a bonus effect is the Holy Bolt. It is similar to a nuke scroll but it also has a chance to reduce the hit chance of your enemy which increases your survivability. It gives you enough time to heal or stack up your skills. The next scroll is the one with the highest damage that you can deal and it is the exercise. This one is pretty easy to get. You can use it to any type of enemy but if you use it on undead enemies it deals a lot more damage as you can see we get a solid 9k in here. Following up we have got a scroll that does not deal damage or stun the enemy but it actually reduces the enemy hit chance by 50% and it is the scroll of mystify. Now, 50% might not sound to be a high percentage but when you combine it with the debuffs that most classes apply on enemies and with your dodge chance you will most likely not get hit in the next few seconds. A good debuffing and useful scroll is the scroll of corrosion. This one lets you and your party do 20% bonus damage on any enemy as it applies a debuff and also deals damage which equals to 100% hybrid power. You should use it right before casting your damaging abilities for maximum damage. Next up we've got the scroll of dissonance and this is going to be the last one before we start with the farming scrolls. The scroll of dissonance works like the ability of a support class. It reduces the enemy damage done and attack speed by 15% and critical hit chance by 5%. The unique thing is that it also restores bonus mana for anyone hitting the enemy with the upright debuffs. These were the scrolls for bosses and now we start with the farming ones and the first one on the list is the blinding light. This scroll is pretty useful when you are farming because it can one shot most of the monsters that you might be killing as it does high damage. There is also a bonus benefit and it is having a chance to blind the enemy which will cause them to miss hits making it good for killing bosses too. Next up we've got the first flare. It works in a similar way to the previous one but it does less damage. It can hit up to 4 enemies at once which is very good and is above average for most of the AOE skills of classes.
This scroll right here is the one with the highest damage you can do to enemies and it is the Guardian Blast. The difference with the previous one is that it hits only up to 3 enemies. I highly recommend you to subscribe so you don't miss out any future guide videos that can help you out. If this video was helpful, you can also leave a like so it can spread to more people. This video right here is similar to the one you have just watched and contains some useful information about scrolls. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.